example on circular wave guide cavity. In the previous two videos, we have uh, presented the basic theory of circular wave guide cavity and how to calculate the resonant frequency and the quality factor of such wave guide cavities. Now, in this video, we are going to present a numerical example for a circular wave guide cavity. A uh, circular cavity resonator with D equals to A. This means that the length of the cavity equals the diameter of the cavity is to be designed to resonate at frequency 5 MHz. So the resonant frequency or the required resonant frequency is 5 MHz. In TE011 mode. So the operating mode for this cavity is TE011 mode. And it should be noted here, this is not the dominant mode. Because we said before the dominant mode is either TE111 or TM010 uh, mode. Okay? If the cavity is made from cover, so the conductivity of the material is cover, and is Teflon filled, so the dielectric material inside the cavity is Teflon, with epsilon r is 2.08 and loss tangent 10 delta equals 0 0.0004. Find its dimensions such that its resonant frequency could be 5 gigahertz at the mode TE1, TE011 mode. And the unloaded quality factor. Here, unloaded quality factor is a complete unloaded quality factor, including conductor loss and dielectric loss. We start with calculating the wave number inside the dielectric medium, which is filling uh, the cavity at the resonant frequency. So the value of K is 2 by F over C multiplied by square root epsilon R, which is Omega over C multiplied by square root epsilon. So it is 2 by multiplied by 5 gigahertz multiplied by square root 2.08 over C, which is 3 multiplied by 10 to the power 8. The value of K in this case is 151 meter to the power minus 1. The resonant frequency of the TE011 mode is given by the frequency of this resonant frequency is C over 2 by square root epsilon R multiplied by square root B dash 0 1 over A plus by over B. Here is the propagating or the transverse propagating wave number of 0 1 mode. And this is L by D, where L here is 1. So, 0, 1, the first 0, 1 is here, and the last one is here. But L equals 1. Okay? Actually, we don't have neither A or D, but we have the ratio between D and A such that D equals 2A. So, we can replace the value of D by 2A, or the value of A by D over 2 and from this we have uh, one unknown which is either A or B and F01 is 5 GHz so by solving this equation we can find the value of A and from A we can obtain D or otherwise we can find D and from D we can obtain A so we can say that the value of K which is 2 by F 0, 1, 1 square root over C which is the multiplication of this and division by C this is K equals the square root of B 0, 1 dash over A squared plus Y over D squared uh, as I said we are going to solve for A so we are going to replace B by 2A and we are going to solve this equation for the value of A. So the value of A, K 
can be given by square root of b dash 0 1 squared plus by over 2 because this 2a by over 2 squared over k this would be the value of a b 0 1 dash is the first 0 of the first derivative of the basic function of first kind of order 0 this is actually is 3.832 from the tables of basic functions and we already calculated the value of k so from this we can calculate the value of the radius a so a in this case is 2.74 centimeters and from a we can determine the length of the cavity p because d equals 2a so the value of the length of the cavity p is 5.48 centimeters so Till now we have already designed the cavity resonator which would resonate at the frequency 5 GHz with the mode TE011 mode. Now regarding to the unloaded quality factor, it would be required to calculate the surface resistance or the surface resistivity of the material and the material is covered. So the conductivity of the cover is 5.813 multiplied by 10 to the power 7 Siemens per meter. So the surface resistance is square root omega mu naught over 2 sigma. Omega is 2 by F and F is 5 gigahertz. Sigma is the conductivity. Mu naught is the free space permeability which is 4 by multiplied by 10 to the power minus 7. By doing this, we can calculate the surface resistance as 1.84 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 2 volts. Now, the quality factor due to the conductor loss for uh, TE NML mode is given by this complicated relation. Actually, this complicated relation can be simplified here by setting N equals 0 so this term would be 0 and this term it would be 0 and uh, the value of b n m dash would be replaced by b dash 0 1 the value of beta it actually can be calculated as a square root of k squared minus b dash 0 1 over a squared so how this how to calculate the value of a uh, after simplifying this complicated relation for a special case where n equals 0, m and n equals 1, and taking into consideration that the value of d is equals 2a, so there is a relation between d and a, we can simplify this relation as follows. This is a quality factor due to the conductor loss. It would be KAQ multiplied by eta. Eta here is 377 ohm over square root epsilon r, where epsilon r is the dielectric constant of the difference, which is 2.08 multiplied by a multiplied by b. We have already calculated the value of a and b over 4 b dash 0 1 squared multiplied by the surface resistivity b dash 0 1 is 3.832 and surface resistivity which is 1.84 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 2 multiplied by 1 here we don't have this n over a d over 2 actually this is multiplied by n so this is eliminated plus beta a squared over b dash 0 1 squared or this squared multiplied by 1 now we are going to calculate these numbers together so the quality factor due to the conductor loss simply given by k multiplied by a multiplied by eta over 2 rs k is already has been calculated which, which is 151 
theta is theta naught over square root epsilon r. A is 2.74 centimeters and surface resistance A. So the quality factor due to the conductor loss in this case is 29,390. 29,390. 390. Okay. On the other hand, the quality factor due to the dielectric loss is simply is given by 1 over 10 delta, which is 1 over 0. 0.0004, which is 2,500. Now the total unloaded quality factor is given by 1 over 1 over the quality factor due to conductor loss plus 1 over the quality factor due to the dielectric loss. By substituting the values for the quality factor for conductor loss and dielectric loss, we can obtain the total quality factor as 2300. And once again, it can be noted that the total quality factor is mainly dominated by the dielectric quality factor because it is much smaller than the quality factor due to the conductor loss. Okay, all right. This is an example about a circular waveguide resonator. Uh, in the following video, we are going to discuss another type of resonator which is not closed. We've got present it is open. We've got present uh, We are going to discuss a uh, dielectric resonator. So let us see how it's just a piece of dielectric can be represented as a cavity resonator. This what we are going to discuss in the next week. All right.